Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, we are going to take a look at Unreal Engine 5.1's new material shader, which is called Strata. Now at the time of this video, 5.1 is still, uh, it's still under development. It hasn't been released and it hasn't even been a beta yet. Uh, and also who's to say that Strata will actually make 5.1. But if you want to actually, I actually had to build this myself through the Unreal Engine source code. So you're going to have to build, if you want to try this at least right now, 5.1, you're going to have to build Unreal Engine 5.1 from the source yourself. Now, as you can see on the screen, I have a, a basic gun mesh that I downloaded from Sketchfab. And as you can see, there's, it came with four textures. You have the base color, you have the metallic, you have the roughness, and you have the normal matte. Now, basically, from my understanding, the strata material shader is basically a principal shader, just like uh, if you're familiar, if you're familiar with the blender principal shader, it's basically like that. So it's similar, or it's, I guess it's supposed to be similar to that. As you can see, there's a there's a base color, subsurface scattering, metallic, specular, roughness, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Which is similar, I believe, this 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 principal shader, I believe, comes from the Disney, um, Disney papers or something like that. Let's go back to this. And I have uh, to actually uh, get this shader just like normally. You just go and click and create a new material. So I already have a material right here. And as you can see, here's the material node and here you can we're not going to we're going to we're not going to dive too deep into this, but here's the material node. And then what we see here is a strata slab BSDF. I believe BSDF that stands for bidirectional scatter diffuse function basically what it means is the shader scatters light from my understanding and it this uh, the good the great thing about this is that this new strata uh, material shader uh, it's going to react like materials is or i believe it's supposed to react like actual materials do so i actually created my own material basically because it allows you to switch on and off between uh, textures and uh, constant values or these vector values. So we have our Stratislab BSDF and let's right click and I'm going to type in Strata. And as you can see, there's a number of other shaders. So under uh, the BSDF category. So we have an eye shader, we have a hair shader, we have a simple clear coat shader, single layer water shader. So that's a water shader. There's the slab shader, which I believe is, it's this one right there. I guess it's an all around or similar to the principal BSDF in Blender. You have a unlit BSDF. I'm not sure if that's the emission. And then you, we have the uh, volumetric fog. Underneath that, we have the building blocks. I'm not necessarily sure what these are. Judging by the name, is, I guess it's just the building blocks. <laughs> and we have also extras, strata convert to decal, light functions, post-processing, haziness, metallicness, I guess these are these are called the helpers and then we have operators I'm just gonna okay there's that's the post processing so I guess to use that we're gonna select this material node go to post processing and I guess you would do that I'm, I'm guessing <laughs> okay uh, but that's that uh, let's go back let's undo that And what we're going to do is we're going to grab these and drag these in. 
Let's see if we have anything else. I think that's everything. So we have our textures here. And I'm going to right click and type in uh, and get our texture coordinate node. Now, as you can see here, if you click down here, I'm not sure. I, I can't recall, but I'm not. I think this is new. I could be wrong. I think in uh, the previous version, Unreal Engine 5.0, it doesn't have this. I could be wrong, but uh, this may exact. This may actually be new. So we're gonna. All and then let's drag this over to the base color. This is the normal. Alrighty, and I'm going to right click right here and promote this as a variable. then add some specular. Alrighty, that's done cooking. Grab our new gun material and there we go. Oh, I think there's something else I forgot to do. Let's see. We want to make sure that this is double sided. So let's go with the material node and click double sided. And that should be already. It looks like it's done. And there you go. It looks, um, I mean, it looks pretty good. I did. What really needs to be done, I mean, the best way to see this is at in an actual scene where every, all the materials are actually set up using this to uh, actually judge.